Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be a covering, oh no actually covering, we're going to be continuing with the CFW 500 series drive where we're going to be setting the drive today to run a remote control into 2i control, 3i control and also be using potentiometer and if you have missed the last video where we are commissioned the drive and set the run the drive in uh, local mode that video is going to be in description below also all the manuals and uh, anything else that I found that, that would benefit you in pos any possible way you'll be able to find those videos in description below so without further ado let's get started <music> All right, ladies and gentlemen, the first station it is set up, and that is going to be our two-wire control station. So let me show you how that is going to look. And there's a couple of things about this drive, which is actually quite awesome, and I like it. It's, it's the options it provides how you want your system to be set up. So this is the station, the way it looks like, uh, how we're going to be setting up today. It's going to be Star Force, uh, reverse, uh, reverse Run, then it's a jog, and then also it's a speed control. And each stop... As well as uh, removing the power from the button, he always is going to is well going to be activating a quick stop, and I shall run you through how that is done. And regarding the setup itself, uh, there is a factory defaults on the, on the, depending uh, depending on the, uh, what sort of station you're going to be using the uh, I/O station. But generally, the, the the everything that's in basic IOs will be as well the same as all other other units as well, because the, all the other units will add just add additional uh, bits to like CAN, USB, and blah blah, blah and then I, additional IOs and things like that. So, uh, but generally, you will you will more or less uh, see something like this. It's a sort of a diagram. So, this, uh, one, two, and three, and four. It doesn't really show you what is really being assigned to it. And you, if you want to find out what's being assigned to it, you need to go to the manual, which is again, is going to be in the description below. And then you're going to go to the, oop, did I just move the camera? So uh, you have to go to the pan uh, manual, P0263. This is where it pretty much it shows you the full list of a, uh, this is where you can uh, sort of program your digital IOs, which is the actually digital inputs. Which is really good. Look at the options you have. That's a huge amount of options. But the one thing that I have not seen other drives do is uh, offer you. Where's the Danny? Where's the Danny? So this one, the first one in here. Not sure you can see. This is run, run, and uh, run and stop. Just a general run uh, uh, command. And then there's this thing called the clockwise rotation direction. So you can sort of uh, change directions uh, for a. Uh, just, uh, Having uh, put the drive into run mode, and drive will run, and then you just can change directions by activating that the other uh, digital input, which is awesome. So uh, y this is sort of an option you have if you have like a different type of a station, which I do have in here. But for this purpose, we're going to be using a setting up, so setting up the station the way we want it, which we are going to have the jog, the start forwards, the start uh, reverse, and things like that. For that, you just go into digital inputs and enter the information you want the drive to do. So we're going to be doing our, uh, uh, where is it, run forwards, and then we're going to have a run, uh, run, uh, reverse run, and then we're going to set the jog, which a uh, jog is already preset as, as a default, I think that is in, a, in, uh, in this room for three, and also what I did, if you go down there, where is the, oh I lost it, uh, quick stop, quick stop, quick stop, quick stop, where's the quick stop? Uh, am I being daft? I completely lost the quick stop. Oh, quick stop <laughs> three. So I have selected the digital input three yeah, because on the, on the digital input the three down here, which is actually five, a number five in there, but it will be digital input three, is actually reset on it. I removed that and I put the the quick stop onto it. So basically, it, it gives me better control when on a emergency stop is pushed, it's how quickly the drive stops. So, you can set up the drive whichever way you want it by just manipulating those IOs, the digital inputs. You can do the same thing as well for the digital outputs. And there are, um, I don't have a page with me, but yes, you can, you can literally manipulate digital outputs as well. So there's so much you can do with it. But for this purpose, we're just gonna be looking at our, uh, 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 two wire control 
And now I'm going to show you my uh, wiring. If you see my little station in here, I have my uh, my uh, e-stop in here. Which, by the way, if you want to use a quick stop, it has to be a normally closed contact. So make sure that's the, that's the case if you do. And uh, that's my uh, ground wire, which comes from a uh, 16. It goes through my uh, normally closed contact in here, and then the wi one wire goes back to the con uh, to a control panel uh, for the digital input three in here. So and then it sort of uh, distributes uh, distributes the power to all other switches, and uh, the digital the input one is going to be my run forward, digital input two is going to be my run reverse, and digital input four is going to be my jog button. And in this station. And this in this drive, jog runs independently. It does not require a, any of these run signals, so it can run independently. And there's your uh, there's your potentiometer, which has to be greater than five kilo ohms, as, as if I understood the, drive, the 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 manual correctly. It looks like doesn't really specify correctly, but it looks like it's, it has to be greater than five kilo ohms. Uh, and that goes into to terminals. Four, six, and eight. So this is pretty much where your uh, uh, potentiometer would go. So let me put the station uh, together, and I'll show you how that runs. And before I show you how to uh, how the station works and things like, that, I quickly show you the, the how the how a quick stop uh, stop itself is determined. That is in the parameter. Uh, 106 in here you can select how fast do you want the quick stops to stop uh, in event of when you activate the quick stop and I put down all the way and let's say let's just put down to 0.1 of a second so it will instantly stop but again it, that's, that, that comes down to a uh, application where you're using it and what sort of a deacceleration you really need to do without sending too much of a back uh, current from the motor so uh, I'm not going to get into that too much it says again that can be determined for, for application you're using. For me, I'm using 0.1 of seconds because I literally got no load and the motor is able to start and stop very quickly. But a quick stop is sort of a, something that you assign in event of emergency if you want the thing to stop quickly. And that speed can be determined uh, independently in how quickly it stops in parameter 106, which is quite awesome. So here we go. That is a uh, our station, so quite simple run forwards one good thing I like about this kind of switching if you are in a run mode you cannot uh, put, uh, put put in reverse mode unless you remove uh, the forward so that's that and then there's the jog mode there you go set to 5 Hertz I haven't looked at it but there is parameter that you can adjust your uh, jog if you wish to and show you if you go if you are like that and when you quick, quick step as you can see the motor instantly stopped event emergency but if you release it it will start back up so you always need to make sure that your uh, run commands are being removed and this will be it for the two wire control let's crack on with the three wire control as for the three wire control let me show you how the station uh, looks we have I'll show you how we have what sort of changes we made and things like that. So this is pretty much oh, like that. This is what it's going to look like. Uh, for this station, you do need uh, latched uh, reverse if you want to go in reverse. So uh, we are going to be doing that. So you go speedometer. Uh, selection of which direction you want to start to go. And obviously start and stop. Which is This will always start forward. But if this switch is on, it will start in reverse. So pretty much that's how that is uh, set up. And now let me talk you through how we set up the I. O's. So if we go to a uh, parameters and obviously 263 is going to be our first parameter which we have selected a uh, 6 which is a start as you remember the little page in here and uh, then we go back and the next one we say uh, is a digital input 2 we have selected a 7 which is a stop and obviously the 265 still stays as the same as our quick stop and uh, the, uh, the fourth digital input we have selected as a, um, uh, what's it called, uh, where is the thing, in um, lost direction, clockwise direction. So basically if it's selected, 
uh, if it's on, if it's not on, it will go one way. If it's on, it will go the opposite way. So that's pretty much how all this is uh, set up in there regarding those par uh, parameters for 3 wire control. So you are able to have a latched a signal like that. So it's, uh, it's quite straightforward. No, that's pretty much all you need to do. And when it comes down to wiring, this is something I definitely need to talk you through. This time we have two normally all uh, closed signal. Oh, remember, whatever there is anywhere in a drive or any settings that is requiring th things called anything to do with stop, they're always going to be low signals, which they are normally closed. So in here we have my ground signal for terminal 16 coming to the E stop. And from E stop it goes all the way back to digital input 3, which is our quick stop. Then it goes on to the stop signal and then goes through the stop signal and it sends the signal back to the drive to digital input 2. So there only pro provides power to start forwards and obviously to direction change start forwards is going to be our digital input 1 and our uh, uh, direction change is going to be in digital input 4. So that's pretty much how they go back to the station and also we have a, a standard a, uh, potentiometer that goes back to 4, 6 and 8. Eight. And regarding potentiometer, guys, just uh, if you don't know which which is which, just keep playing. There's only three wires, and there's only so much combinations you can have. Keep playing until you get the right combination. Usually, the middle wire, when you look at the, the diagram itself, the middle wire, which is sort of the, uh, the feedback, uh, that always you must go in the middle uh, between the three units that you usually are working with. So, uh, and then you're just swapping around uh, directions. So, but yeah, I said, but playing around until you get the right, uh, uh, right sequence that you are after, and it will work. It's not, not, not rock, uh, huge of a rocket science down there. So let me put the cover on. I'll show you how that works. And here we go. The station is together. Let's just leave the um, uh, menu. By the way, this menu is really friendly. So uh, you guys should have uh, absolutely no problem working with it. It's, it's, it's very easy to use and very easy to understand. Uh, here we go. That's the station. So. Uh, we press the star, it latches the signal. As you can see, my potentiometer is going the wrong way. See? So all I need to do is swap the cables, uh, uh, cables around on there to make sure the direction is right. That didn't check that one, but that's fine, uh, minor detail. So here we go. So when you are uh, clicking the going the reverse, it will just automatically go in reverse. And then when you stop it, it will stop and it will remember this. If once that signal is closed, it will always start in a reverse and obviously you have uh, this e-stop and when you reset that system will not restart. This is actually really good if you use that in some sort of garage or some sort of home equipment and things like that. Try to use the three wire control because at least with the e-stop it delatches the system and you would physically have to start back up again. So uh, let me show you quickly how that uh, potentiometer can be changed quickly. So one thing is for sure, try to put cables in way before you put the front ones in, at least with this unit. There we go. There we go, we do that. All right, so let's check it again. So that now should uh, be fixed. So, uh, oop. what, oh, my e-stop. So now, see, my potential of that goes the correct way. So that's what I was talking about. It's, it's usually the middle, get the middle and right in direction. It's just one way or another. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's for the two wire control and three wire control, and also the potentiometer. Hopefully, it helps you out and uh, get you where you want to get. And it is a good drive. I'm not gonna lie. It is. It is definitely well built and very easy to understand. Very easy to work. It's definitely got some options that I have not seen in other drives, which I like. But bear in mind, this is the upper upper uh, version of the CFW. So um, so we as we gonna we gonna definitely gonna look at the CF 300s and 100s. Well, I'm pretty sure some of these functions they will not be there. So having said that, ladies and gentlemen, that will be it for this video. Hope you liked it, and if you do like it, do uh, smash that like, uh, comment below if you have any questions, and I will answer them as soon as and as accurate as, as I can. And uh, having said that, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.